is Randa Parrish and I'm with Prairie Quilt. We have taught hundreds of people how to do piping hot binding and we do it a little bit differently than the piping hot binding ruler suggests. So I thought I would show you this quick demonstration how. I like to use two millimeter cording and I cut my piping and my binding the very same width. I cut it two and a fourth. If you use two and a half, that's fine too. What you'll want to do is take your two and a fourth piece and press it down the middle so it's like this, the full length plus about six inches of your quilt. And then you want to take your cording and lay it in the seam. Once you fold this over, you want to make sure that you have that in the very tightness of the fold. So with your fingers, just continue putting that on the edge. I'm using YLI nylon thread. I really like that best for this project. I'm going to, to uh, trim this, you have a half inch side or a quarter inch side. For quilting, I use a quarter inch side. You'll take this and put that groove right on top of the cording. And you'll see that when you do that, you'll be able to get a really precise cut. And that's what you need to make it crisp. Now what we're going to do is sew this onto the binding. So we're going to take our piping and we're going to lay it right on top of the binding that you've stirred, you have pressed in half and you're going to open it up now and lay the stitching that you have on your piping directly on the fold, just like that. So when you're rolling, when you're putting this on, you don't have to pin it, just roll this so that you're matching with your eye from right here, the stitching to the fold. Once that's sewn, you just fold this over. I like to press that before I start. When I sew it onto the quilt, you're going to sew to the back side of your quilt and lay it on the back side. Okay, so I'm going to sew this. Uh, I've cut my piping, uh, my binding at two and a fourth. I'm going to sew this at a uh, 3 8 inch seam with regular cotton thread. When I get about 3 8 inch away from the edge, then I'm going to back stitch. Take the quilt, flip this over at a 45 degree angle, and come right back down. And you're going to start here and back stitch till three eighths away. Join your binding just like you normally would do. When you're doing the corners, because everybody wants to know about how to do the corners. Flip this over and fold this to where your seam on this is just about hitting the seam that you originally sewed on. And as you can tell, you can usually lay your piping and your binding together and see which way that it folds best. And I think this will probably be my best folding way right here. Once I do that, once I determine, I'm going to try it this way too. See if it looks any better. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. Once I determine how I'm going to fold it, then I open this up and I cut the cording 
right where that fold is. That way this will lay a little bit easier for me. So now I'm just going to go back to the nylon thread and my piping thread. And as I said earlier, you can do this with the zipper, but it just takes a lot longer. That's how you have a nice piped edge. 